going to turn it over to Mike Tanner, who's going to go and, and talk about those pieces. And then I'll come back with some concluding remarks. Thanks, Ray. The, the engines of our uh, outreach and education program certainly are the water balance. I'm going backwards. Hang on. There you go. Um, in order to get the, the larger community of water purveyors involved, we decided quite a while ago to, to develop a website. Uh, in fact, the water bucket was actually officially announced by ministerial uh, order in 2005. Um, the website itself is owned by the Partnership for Water Sustainability in British Columbia. Uh, it's a society of, of people that are involved in, in developing this overall action plan. The society was established really just to, to own the Water Bucket website as well as the Water Balance model. Um, what makes the website distinctive, I guess, is that really that it's, it's three it has three specific dimensions. It's a news magazine uh, for raising awareness and getting out some of the success stories that have been developed in British Columbia. It has a growing library of information resources on the BC experience. And third, it houses uh, several uh, made in BC tools used by practitioners on the ground, and I'll explain those in a little while. The, the site is really the key to the communication strategy for the Water Sustainability Action Plan. It's intended to maintain a sustained focus on water, and it's designed to provide a complete story on both the integrated land and water management really the why, the what, the where, and the how. The vision for the website was to provide a, a resource-rich, highly interactive destination location for information communication related to water sustainability in British Columbia. That's a mouthful in one sentence, but really what we looked at was there's a lot of information out there on water sustainability and water conservation, but where, does, where do you go to get that? Right? And so what we wanted to develop really was one location where somebody in Fort St. John could <coughs> access and say, okay, I want to develop a water conservation or a water sustainability action plan. How do I go about that? The information is now within our website. So that was really the plan to bring all that information together so there would be one location that people could come to to get that information. Um, again, it's designed to provide universal access to that information and really further, collect, further uh, collective understanding and collaboration. Um, we believe, we truly believe, we'll see improved standards in all aspects of land development and water management as a result. Um, water Bucket is, the, is also a web-based communication system that facilitates networking and sharing of knowledge and expertise. It really does support the, the efforts to promote conservation and stewardship as well as help convert that information into action. Um, the, no, the, no, uh, the notion of what we call a web-based community of interest has been developed to kind of respond to the needs of, of organizational clusters. There was a whole bunch of other areas that were, had information. They weren't sure where to put it or how to get it up to the people. So really what this was was a website that allows that specific group to come and place it, all that information on our website. Um, and we, the website consists of, of several uh, communities of interest, that, and that include each element of the Water Sustainability Action Plan that was mentioned earlier. Uh, the nice thing is, is that each COI, especially from a management point of view of the website, is that each COI is really a self-managing website that provides easy access to a variety of information modules, uh, each developed within the COI structure. Um, this dynamic information really is developed on a collaborative, non-proprietary platform. It allows emerging to uh, leverage the investment of existing partners and use communication and web development resources effectively. But Water Bucket is really more than a website. It's, a it's, it's an application of leading edge technology to achieve a vision that foresees communities of interest really evolving into communities of practice. The website also provides a forum to share resources, information experiences, and insights, and a location for contribution by content experts that will keep the website updated and with new ideas and information. 
If any of you have the website or deal with the website, you know how difficult that is, is to keep that information fresh all the time. Um, content contributors are members of our society and others who have registered on site as contributors. The objective is, is that when a contributor comes across a web link or sustainability information or really whatever catches their eye, they want to share with others. How do they do that? Simple, they would just access their account, input the link or the information to the site. The water bucket is also part of a wall, uh, Canada wide partnership. So the nice part about that is that any technological advancements that occur or, or sh are shared Canada wide. Um, the investment in BC leverages investments in other provinces as other partners uh, are spurred to create even more enhancements that benefit all. Um, one of the goals of the website is to build capacity through sharing of experiences, approaches, and lessons learned by practitioners and implementing various policies and practices. Uh, over the past three years, for instance, Vancouver Island has been the action plan pilot region for the bottom-up approach to informing and educating municipal planners, engineers, and others. The educational experience that's gained by this um, process has de determined a very valuable role that Water Bucket can play in delivering information and sharing the lessons that have been learned. In addition to promoting uh, a way of thinking and acting, the website already houses online tools, such as Water Balance Model, Water Save Toolkit, the Irrigation Scheduling Calculator, the Water Conservation Calculator, and we are continually uh, developing more tools that are practitioner friendly and that people will be able to go to and use. Um, for those who like the Irrigation Scheduling Calculator. Um, certainly Ted Van Der could talk more about it, but really what it is is that every area within the Okanagan Valley has been reviewed. They've determined the type of soil in every one of those farms that are there. They've determined their precipitation on a yearly basis. So what this allows it to, uh, an owner to do is to go onto the site, type in his location, all the information is already fed, He'll then say, okay, I want to grow this particular type of crop. He'll input that crop into it. The calculator will automatically tell him and provide an irrigation schedule. One of the success stories to that is we had one woman who had an apple crop and she was irrigating it up to 10 hours a day. But what she didn't realize, I guess, was that the soil only had an absorption rate of four hours. So six hours of watering was just going down the hill. So by going onto the calculator, she was able to reduce her irrigation maintain the same crop, but reduce your water usage. So those are the types of tools that are available as well. And again, by, by promoting the broadening of the scope of plans and to incorporate design with nature, um, these resources and tools are available and should help address more issues in a comprehensive way because they will have examples of how to connect the four pillars of sustainability. One of the other things of the website is to, is to share and publicize case study information with emphasis on success stories. A lot of people out there don't want to be the first one to try something. So this way, what this does is those people who have, it allows that information and those success stories to allow people that comfort to move forward and take a risk or take a chance. Because in most cases, it's worked out successfully. Or if not, at least understand what the pitfalls of going to that different type of technology or whatever it may be. Um, by serving as a platform, platform for showcasing how monitoring and evaluation tools can be applied, the website really does celebrate success and tracks results for issues that matter most. We found it extremely effective to publish new style stories that create a, an interest in our action plan programs and events. Our experience really is that by the using photos and images is engaging and attributing quotes to individuals in a conversational style has really incredible impact, rather than some dry technical writing. <coughs> to date, the site has about has thousands of visitors per month, coming to view some of the, the latest in technology, tools, and practices. These practices and tools will enhance environment, environment and provide attractive social and economic returns to those entities employing them. Really, the power of the water bucket dossier is the array of features that have been developed and or being developed to 
facilitate the sharing of information and the use of online tools. One of the things I have to use is, is Marvin Gemmins, uh, a municipal planner from the town of Comox, stated after visiting our website, and I like this quote, is that the water bucket is providing a reason to have the conversation about why change. The resulting awareness of need will help us obtain the mandate to implement watershed-based land use planning. Thank you. I'll turn it back to Ray.